Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for joining me on The Angry Truth Channel. So today's video, we're going to talk about the Micaiah Bryant situation. Now, I know it was about a week ago, a week and a half ago, and it was, well, you know, an interesting situation. Now, I'm not going to sit here and sit and pretend that I feel bad for uh, Micaiah or any of these people who fucking get shot or killed by the cops. I just don't have the capacity to give a fuck about bad people doing bad shit during a bad time. I just don't. I don't give a fuck how old they are. And 16 in some states you're an adult, so for those of you that are sitting there saying, it's just a kid, fuck it. It is what it is. Um, with that being said, you know, her getting killed uh, by a cop because she was trying to kill somebody, well, what do you think was going to happen? If you make eye contact with the cop as you're running out of the house, but you proceed to try to stab two people, what do you think is going to happen? You think the cop's going to tickle you? You think he's going to tase you? He's going to shoot you because you have a deadly weapon. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know what the Micaiah Bryant situation is, Micaiah was a 16-year-old girl who came running out of the house while getting into a fight with two girls. She tackles one girl on the floor, tries to stab her, can't. The girl kicks her off. She then turns around, refocuses on another girl, chases that girl, pins her against the car, and goes to stab her in the neck or the head or something like that. The cop, who should get in a medal, shoots Micaiah without hitting the other girl that he was saving. Keep in mind, the other girl was also a black girl. So he saved one black girl from another black girl, but all the media and you know white liberals saw was a white cop shooting a black kid. That's all they saw. When you watch the video in its entirety, you're like, okay, that was a clean, good shooting. But with that, BLM and their bullshit headed over to Ohio and started with their fucking bullshit uh, anti-cop rhetoric. Fuck the police, defund the police, fuck him, he's next. Uh, what's that asshole's name? Um, the king, LeBron James, sits there and goes, you're next. Now, you're next means that he's probably going to go to court and he's going to see his day in court. Didn't exactly mean a threat but other people will perceive it as a threat that was the issue with lebron james well, Le lebron james is still an asshole he doesn't know anything the guy fucking bounces a ball for a living all right keep that in mind all right so he does nothing with his life other than run up and down the court like the trained idiot he is because that's what they paid him to do be a trained idiot and run up and down the court so he should continue to do that and let fucking men and women discuss the rest of the bullshit that's going on in america now the body cam footage from the cop in my opinion, already exonerated the cop. The body cam footage was a clean, showed a clean shooting, period. There was no like, well, you know, maybe he should have like popped her in the leg and used his taser and got, no. It was none of that bullshit. It was a high speed situation that needed a high speed resolution and that cop delivered that resolution. He put the kid down, right? So now in the video, or rather in this picture here, you will see Micaiah with a knife in her hand, ready in a position to stab the other girl. That is a clean shoot. Now, yes, it's a 16 year old kid. For a lot of you people out there, oh my God, she was just a child. She had a life ahead of her. Whatever, dude, fuck that noise. Um, it is what it is. You kids wanna act like Billy badasses in an adult world? You get adult results. That's the bottom line. I learned that from a guy who punched me in my face years ago when I was a kid. Got in his face when I was probably 14 years old and I said some shit to him and boom right in my face and he said you want to step to a man you're gonna get treated like a man the same rule applies to fucking these kids these days they want to act like they're an adult in an adult world you're gonna get adult prizes now some people say the cop should not have intervened and some people say the cop should use the taser I don't think the cop had a taser and the cop not intervening those are the interesting idiots that piqued my interest and I'm like well, what? So the cop should have sat there and watched the girl stab the other girl and go, look at him, going at it again. All right, you know what, Makai, now you're under arrest because you killed her. As he sat there and watched, shouldn't intervene. Now, a BLM member, or I'm going to label her a BLM member because this is a BLM statement, stupid, reads this. Teenagers have been having fights, including fights involving knives for eons. We do not need police to address these situations. By showing up on the scene and using a weapon against one of our teenagers. Y'all need help. I mean that sincerely. This bitch is out of her mind. So this is the kind of backlash that 
the cop in Ohio or this cop is seeing these idiotic, moronic fucking statements. And then again, you have uh, LeBron James saying his stupid shit, right? Now, LeBron James retracted that and he, you know, he tried to say, oh, they're trying to make my, uh, my comment, my statement sound like I was being a racist. No, dick. You, you weren't being a racist. You're just being an asshole. That's what I saw that as. I didn't see that as being a racist thing, but whatever. Now, another comment, which is interestingly enough, is by a fucking liberal, reads, A black teenage girl named Micaiah Bryant was killed because of a police officer. So the cop was the reason why she died, which I guess, yeah. Immediately decides to shoot her multiple times in order to break up a knife fight. Demand accountability, fight for justice. These are the idiots of the worlds we have to deal with now because the cop decided to shoot her to break up a knife fight. Because what other way was he going to break up that knife fight? Tackle her? Well, if he tackled her, the knife could have went into him, right? Hit her with the taser? The taser might not have worked. Maybe if he hit her with the taser, the jerking motion from the taser, the knife would have went into the girl. There's a multitude of things that could happen tackling her. All right, well, why not use a stun gun? All right, well, maybe he didn't have a stun gun, all right? Maybe he wasn't thinking that. Maybe he was thinking somebody's life's in danger. I have to stop that threat. Keep in mind, guys, black, the black community is concerned about a cop saving a black girl from another black girl by shooting her. This is the, the, the black community, the BLM and these idiots. They're looking at this situation going, whoa, why did this white man shoot her? Keep in mind, again, the past two weeks alone, more kids have died by the hands of other black folks, whether that's a man or woman. These people are shooting each other like fucking hotcakes. You had a little girl who died at a McDonald's for hanging out with a father. So the target was the father. The father was a gang member. The rival gang rolled up on the father, shot into the car, killed the little girl. No one's screaming and crying about that. Black Lives Matter is like, well, why not? Let's intervene in gang activities and let's stop this shit. You don't hear Black Lives Matter talking about that shit, but you see them focused on a fucking, on a cop stopping a legitimate crime. But let's not stop the crime in the black community. Let's place blame, fake blame, victimizing blame on fucking, on the cops doing their job. Derek Chauvin doing his job. This uh, Columbus, Ohio cop doing his job. And yet the black community wants to take focus off the black community and the troubles in the black community and the crime and the killing and the drugs the fatherlessness all of that shit they want to take off the black community and pin it on one cop at a time right so this is called misplaced anger or redirection of anger well there's nothing we could do about the black community killing themselves oh my god that cop just shot that fucking kid let's get him because that's what it is it's misdirection once you bring up, well, how come the black community is killing themselves in droves and no one's doing anything about that? You can bring that up. You're not allowed to. You are white. In my case, an Uncle Tom. Whatever it is. Bottom line is, you can't fucking get respect if the community is not respecting itself. You can't change the same shit that goes on day in and day out in the black community if you don't change. You can't run back and talk about racism and slavery and oh my God and this, that and the third if you don't correct the problem. You have to come up with a solution. You can blame the past all you want, but you have to correct the solution. Or you have to come up with a solution to correct the problem. Sorry. This is how the world works. Sitting there beating the drum of, well, slavery caused us to be like this. Okay, now what are you going to do about it? Now, I don't buy that whole slavery bullshit did this to us. I really don't. Slavery didn't tell people to go rob a store or shoot a needle up their arm or beat their kids. That's me. And I listened to those excuses, those uh, those reasonings for slavery putting us in this boat now. And it was the fucking worst explanation on this planet. It, it was as if they were reaching with that explanation. It, it was bad. It was just the worst thing. And if you can look at, if I can find the links to those explanations on slavery uh, affecting the black community today... You won't believe the shit that they try to fucking connect. It's insane. It's, it's the worst. It's like a retard playing connect the dots, but just the worst way possible. Anyway, guys, uh, black community is, is, is has its own problems, and they don't want to recognize that problem. Cops killing black men 
is not fucking killing the black community at all. Yeah, recently we've had a string of them, but look who was involved. All criminals. But Kyrie Bryant, I don't think she was a criminal. I think she was just a fucking asshole teenager that let her anger get the best of her, and that's why she's dead. But everyone else, criminals, assholes, want to fucking sit there and scream and yell at the cops because they think they're big men. This is the fucking problem. And they're probably angry. They're probably legitimately angry at something that happened in their life. I'm not going to discount that. But at some point, guys, the same shit that we're in has to change. And the way to change it is to tackle the problem and address the problem. That's how you change it. You have to address these problems. You can't just sit there and go, well, the cops keep beating us and slavery and the white guy. We can't do that anymore. That ship has sailed. No pun intended. Right? So stop being fake angry. Stop misdirecting your fucking anger and focus on the real fucking problem. Black community killing itself. That's the bigger problem. That's the bigger wildfire. Yes, uh, racism in America is a pocket fire. Cops killing black men, that's not even a fucking fire. That's not even a thing. All right? That's not even a thing. It's just bad people getting shot for doing bad shit. With the exception, there are, oh, before you guys start lighting me up, there are the exceptions to the rules. There are a couple of cases where dudes didn't need to be shot. Like the uh, older black gentleman a couple of years ago was running across the field and the cop shot him in the back. Yes. Those are cases where that cop who got arrested and the book don't let him, he's in jail. He's going to be in jail for a long time. But as far as misdirecting your anger and focusing on cops because you can't handle the problem in your neighborhood, that's an issue. Drug dealers, there's absolutely a lot you could do with that. Uh, kids coming to school hungry, kids getting beat up by their parents, people robbing one another. There is something that could be done about it. But you can't do anything about it if you're focused on fucking something that's not affecting the black community as you think it is or the media is making you believe. Anyway, guys, other than that, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram as The Angry Truth Channel. As The Angry Prepper, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And also, guys, you can follow me as The Angry Prepper and The Angry Truth on Telegram. Just type in the angry prep and the angry truth in the pop up or hit the link in the description section below. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching.